So one of the primary responsibilities of any incident commander is to be able to track where their people are at all times during the fire ground. And there's a big difference between taking attendance and just knowing who is on the scene and being able to account for people and knowing where people and companies are operating on the fire ground. When I first became a battalion chief, the tools that were available to me to track companies on the fire ground, I felt like were clunky and useless. So over the years, I ended up starting to develop my own command boards. At this point, we're probably on about the fifth or sixth version of command boards that I've developed. And now here we have the new Command Board Pro. So this board is designed for uh, any system that you might be operating in. It helps you track your companies, whether you're operating in an SOG driven or an IC driven environment. So a couple key features of the board is we have our um, incident organization area, which is a seven by seven command grid, seven across and seven down. That's gonna let us build out the largest possible incident while staying within the span of control. We also have benchmarks for tracking our, our key tactical priorities of knocking down the fire, clearing our searches and controlling extension in each of our affected areas, areas for tracking companies that are in staging or rehab, as well as general incident notes. A new feature that we have on this board is an interchangeable um, tactical guide area where we can have customizable worksheets to track your primary benchmarks for different incident types. For example, the stock board right now comes with worksheets for tracking our structure fire, our command aid considerations, mayday operations, as well as defensive transition. And we plan on adding additional guides in the future. So the seven by seven command grid is where you're gonna organize your incident. You can organize the incident using locations like divisions, or you can organize it, use it using it tasks or groups. So each area has a spot for you to identify the name or title of the division or group, as well as the supervisor assigned to it, and to be able to put up to seven companies in it, which is gonna keep you within your span of control. One of the features of this board here is the inclusion of a, a magnet based system. So this board can either be written on with wet erase markers or, can, or we can utilize magnets um, to designate our companies. One of the big benefits of utilizing the magnets is that as companies move around from different tactical areas on the fire ground through areas like staging or rehab or to different tactical areas, you can just move the magnet and that makes it a lot easier, um, makes the board a lot cleaner than just writing and smudging with your thumb and a wet erase or dry erase marker. So each board comes with 25 blank magnets, which can be written on uh, with your custom companies. Uh, and we can also work with you to build custom color coded magnets with whatever company names you need inscribed on them. Each area also includes a box for checking off our progress with fire search and extension in the area. The guide also explains how we track that as well as an area for tracking the personal accountability report or PAR for each company assigned to an area. So if you're looking for an easy to use practical tool that's going to help you keep track of your companies on your next fire ground or incident, check out the new command board available on our website at combatreadyfire.com.